Welcome to Microsoft Office Review 4, PowerPoint Basics 1, Design Ideas and Master Slide Changes. Most students attending Carson Newman University have used Microsoft PowerPoint since they were in grade school. Still, there are some elements of editing a PowerPoint document and rehearsing for a presentation that we should review. In this presentation, we will imagine we are giving a talk on Pennsylvania Dutch cooking from around the 1700s. First, we'll type in the title. When we select outside the title box, we notice that we have design ideas that have changed on the right hand side. This design ideas is only available in the desktop version of Microsoft Office 365 and later versions of PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and enter in our subtitle. When we select away, again our topics or our designs here change. Let's add one more element and see what happens to our design ideas. We'll insert pictures and select online pictures. Pennsylvania Dutch cooking is actually German cooking. So when the box comes up, we'll enter in German cooking. And we're presented with several dishes that are German cooked dishes. We'll just go ahead and select the first one. And notice that it just enters on top of all of our text. In previous versions, we would have had to resize and move this image around. With the design ideas on the right hand side, we can select from several very professional looking title pages. And let's again just select the first one. And now with our title page done, we're ready to move on to the next slide. To create our second slide, we'll select the new slide button in the slides group on the insert page. If we were to select the down arrow, we would also be able to select what our layout would look like from our new slide. But since we want the standard title with the bulleted points underneath it in text, we'll just select the button. We're going to talk about the history of the Pennsylvania Dutch cooking. And we'll start out with the timeline of 1683 to 1820. And in that time, 75,000 German-speaking immigrants came to the United States and settled in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We would like to make sure that we point out 75,000 German-speaking immigrants. It belongs with this group, but we want it on the next line. So rather than just hitting enter and having another bullet, let's backspace. This time, we're going to hold our shift key down on the keyboard and tap enter so our cursor is directly beneath the one in the 1683. And here we'll type in 75,000 and oops that should have a hyphen in there and immigrants and now we're ready to go on to the next bullet. So we just select enter and again it knows to put a bullet on that line. And here we want to talk about how all of the different dialects of the German speaking immigrants converged. And we'll talk about how the new Pennsylvania dialect of the Germans was known as Pennsylvania Deutsch, 
which to the Americans they heard Pennsylvania Dutch and thought that these were Dutch people. And last for the history, we're going to begin a new bullet and we'll talk about the 1930s tourism in specifically Lancaster County, Pennsylvania and how this became the real boom for Pennsylvania Dutch cooking. And now let's move on to our third slide. We want to start a new slide and talk about famous people of the Pennsylvania Dutch. And we'll talk about three people. First, we'll talk about Heinrich, Funk, who lived from 1697 to 1730. Next, we'll talk about Jacob Albright, who lived from 1759 through 1808. And last, we're going to talk about Betty Groff, who lived from 1935 to 2015. Now, if we've lost our design ideas, we can again select Design, Design Ideas. And we'll notice that it's given us some really interesting ideas. If we look at this first one, it's giving us a timeline of our famous people, as is this one here. If we select this one, we notice that the colors coincide a lot nicer with our title slide and our second slide with the oranges. We may, however, want to change some basic template colors. So let's next look at our slide master and see how we can change template co colors. The colors that have come in on this timeline are automatic in the theme of this particular PowerPoint. We can change themes at any time, which would include we can change the font throughout the whole presentation, or we can change just some colors. Let's take a look at how we do that. We'll select the View tab, select the Slide Master View, and don't worry, our presentation isn't gone. What we're looking at are the standards that the computer sees as our fonts, our layouts, our styles, and our colors. Let's first change what our title font would be on each of our slides. And to do that, we select the Click to Edit Master Title Style. We'll go to our Home tab, and instead of Calibri, Let's change it to something fun, like Algerian. We'll look at the colors to change our timeline colors. If you'll remember, they were the orange from our title slide, a gray in the center, and then yellow. Let's look at the colors under our slide master and customize our colors. There's the orange and there's the gray, and there's the yellow. Let's go ahead and change the gray to a nice bright red and save. Now let's close our master view and see what has happened to our slides. When we return to our presentation, we see that the font style has changed on each of these types of layouts. Remember, we started with the bulleted layout with the title at the top. It didn't change our title of the whole presentation. Let's go back and view the Slide Master and see why. View, Slide Master, and we see that we're in the title layout before we changed the bulleted layout. Let's go back to the title layout, select 
click to edit master title style go back to home change the font return to the slide master view and now we'll close the view and we see that the font has changed on the title slide as well.